Welcome to day four of our daily prayer challenge. Take a moment to pause and prepare your heart to hear from God through His Word and to speak with Him in prayer. Our theme today is the presence of God, taken from Exodus 33, verses 12 through 19. Let's hear what the Lord has to say together. Moses said to the Lord, See you say to me, Bring up his people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found favor in my sight. Now therefore, If I have found favor in your sight, please show me now your ways, that I may know in order to find favor in your sight. Consider, too, that this nation is your people. And he said, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And he said to him, If your presence will not go with me, do not bring us up from here. For how shall it be known that I have found favor in your sight? I and your people... Is it not your going with us so that we are distinct? I and your people from every other people on the face of the earth? And the Lord said to Moses, This very thing you have spoken I will do, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Moses said, Please show me your glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you and will proclaim before you my name the Lord. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and I will show mercy to whom I will show mercy. In this passage from Exodus, we find Moses standing at the threshold of a profound encounter with our Almighty God, one where he is faced with the great mission set before him. But notice something he says. Moses says to God, If your presence will not go with me, do not bring us up from here. That's not him trying to back down from what he was being asked to do, but rather him recognizing that if God isn't with him when he goes, then he doesn't want to proceed. The radiance of God's presence has the power to transform us. Moses, though a great leader, recognized his need for continual transformation and growth. It's only through the power that comes from the presence of God that Moses would have the strength and confidence to lead his people the right way. His plea echoes through the ages, resonating with the hearts of all of us who hunger for the transformative presence of God in our lives. Listen again to the scriptures and reflect on how hungry Moses is to know that God is with him as we prepare to go to him in prayer. Moses said to the Lord, See you say to me, Bring up his people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found favor in my sight. Now, therefore, if I have found favor in your sight, please show me now your ways, that I may know in order to find favor in your sight. Consider, too, that this nation is your people. And he said, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And he said to him, If your presence will not go with me, do not bring us up from here. For how shall it be known that I have found favor in your sight? I and your people, is it not your going with us so that we are distinct? I and your people from every other people on the face of the earth? And the Lord said to Moses, This very thing you have spoken I will do. For you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Moses said, Please show me your glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you and will proclaim before you my name, the Lord. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and I will show mercy to whom I will show mercy. Take a moment to speak with God in prayer 
and ask Him for His presence in our lives today and that our church would hunger for more of Him. seek your presence. May we hunger for the power that can only come when you are near. May we embrace the journey of spiritual growth. We ask that your presence illuminate the areas in our lives that require refinement and that we would surrender to your shaping hands. It is only through your son Jesus that there is power to our voice today. And all of these things we ask in his name. Amen. Now, may the Spirit of God empower you to pursue Him fully and love others deeply as you walk with Him today.